Hello everyone and welcome to the 24th episode of our Cricket 24 career mode where today we are taking on the Central Stags here at home at Eden Park. I may have forgotten to swap the grounds so we're playing at the actual Eden Park but pretty good to be here up against Blair Tickner here. First time we've taken on the Stags in our entire domestic career as well because we have taken on the Vaults and the Firebirds quite a bit. We still haven't taken on the Brave as of yet. But this should be an interesting contest here against the Stags. We're two for three. What is going on? Solia for one. Will O'Donnell for one. What a great start. I also may have forgotten to download the team. So a few of the players will be unlicensed at least for this game. That's okay. Tekna has one for none. Is looking for two back-to-back -back maidens to begin his spell. Not a great start. We're going at 0 0.78. What is going on? Oh my goodness me. He's got another Wicket Maiden. Not a great start here for Auckland whatsoever. In fact, I can't think of a worse start. This is Ray Tool. I can guarantee that because he's bowling left arm. It's going to be a nice two into the deep. Possibly three. It's plugged though, so just a couple. And we are off the mark. And what looks to be challenging batting conditions here. Tickner steaming in again here. Figures of one for none after two. Pretty dream stuff. Oh my word. He's actually getting it to swing. It's all happening. Challenging period here for the aces. We've just got to try and fight through it as much as we can. Try and get some confidence going. Stick around. Oh, there we go. Yeah, flick through square leg. I'm not sure he'll get around. He looks like it though. Three is the call. Francis will stroll in at the other end. And we will complete the three. That's the first runs that Tickner has conceded. Medium bowler, Sims to the mix here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Beautiful on drive. It might even be save your legs territory, although not the fastest outfield going around. So it will be a three. Our current position on the Plunkett Shield table is, I think, close to first. Actually, I think we're doing pretty good. As Joey Field, this is, bowling right now. We did have a follow-on win in the last episode, so we're looking to follow on from that. Yeah, nice. Strays on the pads here, Field. It will be a couple more. Move into double digits. As Francis is also doing decent. Moving to 13 himself. Yeah, nice. Square leg again. Couple more. Picking up the pace now. The run rates move from 0 0.7 to now 3 per over. Watt picks up the wicket of Francis. Brings to the crease being Horn. And wow, that's okay. A full and wide one. We're in big trouble now as we head to drinks here. And someone did actually point out in the comments that this is Appa, who was the leading run scorer in the, our first season of club cricket for the Auckland's, across the Auckland Championship. So it's pretty cool to see him playing for the Aces now. Wait on, yeah, yeah, good pull shot. Right in the gap. Not sure what the fielders are doing in the deep, but it's still just the one. Nice, league stump line again. Should be a couple more. Oh, no, just the one. 50 up for the Aces. It's been a pretty slow start. Oh, yes. Square leg was in front. Should get a couple here to the deep. Yes, indeed. Good shot again. The crowd is really building up for a Plunkett Shield game. This is definitely not realistic, but nonetheless, we'll take it. No mid-wicket now. Yeah, nice. Soon as they move the field, we're able to work it through there. Just the one, though. Oh my gosh. Okay, well that's one way for us to get out. What was it doing there? I was in. Oh, and I pushed B to get in, but I wasn't in, I guess. Or was I in by the time he took the bales off? Oh my gosh. Well, this game never fails to amaze me. How has that happened? We've put our bat in. But of course, for some reason, I, I usually say B to go, you know, back to make sure I'm back in the crease. However, it's actually undone me here because I'm out. However, I'm still out, okay? So he misses the stumps, but, and as I'm going back in, I push B again to make sure I want to go back in, right? To go the other way. But because I'm facing the wrong way, I go back out. And as I'm going back out, as I lift my foot, he takes the bowels off and we're gone. Well, 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 that is one way for the game to stitch me up today. Okay, a little bit has happened, aka two full innings since we've last been at the crease, averaging 69.5, still pretty good stuff. Okay, 310 all out. Ben Horn with 120, if we hadn't got run out, would have been a good partnership indeed. Tabrak, 62 as a bowl up. Great batting from number six there. Dan Ruffin's 25 not out. 310, it's a very good score. Tickner grabs four. 
as they get rolled for 209. With Crockett getting 44, Watt getting 47. Farley, 24, not out. Five for Anelli, Frank. He's on fire. He is on fire. Five for 37. What a great bowler he is. And we're now two for 33. So Solly got 20, Will O'Donnell three. As we lead by 134. So that's a good result in the end. We're now just batting on a more used pitch, as you can see. And um, at a different time, I guess, where we hopefully will not get run out in the same manner. Nonetheless, second dig. Let's see what we can do. Flick through and wicket first up. And we're off the mark immediately. These things happen. This is the game of cricket. Got to now just try and fight back here. Oh, yeah. No run. What is that? How has he saved that? Oh, yep. Yeah. No need to run there, everyone. That is four. Straight down the ground. Best shot of the game so far. Nice. Through square leg. In fact, in front of it, there's nobody there. So it will be a comfortable three. To the deep. Nice. And we move to double digits yet again. In this innings, we actually have quite a bit more freedom. Because we are leading by 150 just about here. That means even at a worst case scenario, if we get bowled out for another 100 runs, we've still got another 250 on the board. Which again, is not ideal, but it's not the worst case to be. As we're going to bring up 50 runs in this innings for the Auckland Aces. Question from here is, can we get another 150 and set in 300 to win in the last dig? Nice. Forward of mid-wicket. Very straight for a flick. Will be another couple. Again, struggling to hit boundaries, even at Eden Park. Outfit's not as quick as perhaps we're used to at club level. Oh, best shot of the day. Possibly a drive through the covers. That will be four. Somehow Jack, Cro somehow Crockett's got no stamina already. So he's actually bowling quite slow, even in his first over of his spell. Oh, lovely clip. That will be four, I think. I think it's just going to make it to the rope. Yes, it does. In the end, just about... Just about rolls away to the boundary. Here it is. It's getting close. And yeah, just. Very quick start in the second innings here. 27 off 33. The extra freedom has just allowed us to kind of play a few more strokes than we would have in the first innings. Francis is getting to move on as well. So things are ticking along at a very good pace here for the Aces. Don't have to take the game on too much. The game will come to us. Flicked away in front of Square. I think that will get to a three, I was going to say. Not to the rope. And even then, it's a risky three. So just the two it will be. In fact, this could be the last over of the day here. It's six o'clock on day two. The game has moved very fast. Nope, I was wrong. Don't have a clue. Stumps are soon. Who knows when. Oh, going forward to a bounce. It wasn't that quick either. Slightly embarrassing, if nothing else. Ah, next ball, though. We're expecting it. Pulled away in front of square for another couple. Moving to the 30s. And it was indeed stumps. So here we go. We are back again, averaging 75.8 at the moment. I think that was no 50s, 200s. So every time we get a 50, we convert. Otherwise, we get less than 50, I guess, which, you know, equates to everything else. First runs of the day with a glance off the hip there. And the 50 partnership as well. Between myself and Francis. Great to see. Still so much time left in this game as well. So we don't have to take things overly quick. Only another 100 or so. And it's going to be pretty hard to chase in the fourth innings. Oh, yes. Found the gap. Oh, it is racing away. How have I got that much timing on it? I do not know. It's four. That is incredible work. Was it on the full? I'm not entirely sure because there's an overly. No, it was just a half volley. In the slot. And I've actually managed to get some good timing on it for four runs. Oh, you tell you what. We've nearly left that onto our stumps. Oh, lovely. It's a brilliant flick. Straight to mid on. A nice dive from Francis. Partnership builds on. Francis on 35. So all of a sudden, we are competing for another 50 plus score between us here. Oh, that was bread and butter. I'm not sure why Crockett strayed there with the field that was set. That will be four. Brings up the 100 runs for the Aces and the 200 run lead as well. Nice. On the pads again. It's hard to not use that flick shot when all they do is bowl on the pads. Wow, Francis catching up. He's on 43. Ooh, a double strike from Tickner. 
What was I saying? He's the most dangerous bowler. Proven again there. 43 for Francis. Just two for Horn. The Centurion in the first dig can't back it up. To Brack to the crease. All of a sudden, we're at risk of a quick collapse. And not getting as many runs as we should in the second innings. As long as we stay at the crease, though. We're every chance of making 250 plus 300. Been getting lots of extra bounce all day. Oh, absolutely nailed that, though. Ooh, good dive. Oh, that's in the slot. Whipped away. Not a whole lot of timing, though. We'll just pick up another couple. Wonder if Tickner's going to go wider here. Oh, don't get caught there, please. Joey Field. Yes, good punch through the offside. Pushed everyone into the leg side. We've driven through extra cover as a result because of a gap in the field, and that will bring up another 50 at first class level. The previous two being converted to hundreds. Can this one also be converted into another hundred? We'll have to wait and see, but a good 50 thus far. Yes. Cover fielders have moved. Presenting a gap there, with which, which we have punched through to get a couple more. Well, well. Tabrak gone again from Tickner yet again. Chapman to the crease. We are down to the last viable good batter here. And we could run him out immediately. No, thankfully not. He's come out immediately with confidence. 10 from 8. Oh, wow. Oh, my word. Heart and mouth stuff. Tickner's doing me in here. That's seen back a mile. The team, though, has passed 150 runs with the lead now 250 plus. Going through a really slow patch here. The field's pretty good. The bowling's actually got a lot better. Just having to be a little bit more patient. I say a lot better. It's actually gotten worse, which has made it harder to score runs. Nice. Chapman's going well. 18 off 21. I'm noticing a very packed full house Eden Park for a Plunkett Shield game. Not sure that's very realistic, but anyway. Oh, good straight drive. Somehow doesn't hit Turner's boot there. Oh, go the ball. Is it going to go the way? Oh, not quite. Just the three. Move to 60. Yeah, yeah. Two, two, two. Another couple here. Oh, misfield. It'll be three. Goodness me. Okay, we'll take the extra run. What a pull. That is beautifully timed. Just slightly back of a length. Rock back and punished it. And gone. Chapman gone. 21 off 30. Our chance to bat with him. Cut short. We only lead by 289. This should be enough, to be honest, in any sort of last innings chase. But you don't know. We need to try and ensure that we get the best opportunity to win this game. To keep our Plunkett Shield title hopes alive and well at the top of the table. That's going to be worked away for four through square leg. All of these runs count. We'd love to push it up to 350 if we can. At this point, I'm honestly quite surprised the fields aren't more defensive. They need to just get me off strike and be bowling at the other end. There we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. The AI reads my mind. Just a little bit later than expected. Four out. Going wider of the crease. Oh, no. No away from the stumps. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, dear. Misread the length of that one. Shake of the head. Yes, good pull shot. Right in the gap again. Two fielders in the deep, but it was splits them both. Pull to the boundary for another four. Again, when you go the short ball tactic, this is the risk you pay of being too predictable. Oh, should be another couple here. A big gap out there. In between those two deep fielders, deep square, to move into the 80s. Go for it. Oh, some of them's gone. He didn't dive. I wanted him to dive, but he didn't dive. He's gone for sure. Yeah, he's gone. Walk off, buddy. That's what you get for not diving. It was a pretty tight single, I know. Still should have dived. He didn't. Pays the price. Dan returns to the crease. And he's gone for a golden duck. So that run out is actually now very costly. Probably shouldn't have taken it in hindsight. He definitely should have dived. That's pretty much an obvious statement now. Two is the cry. And we'll punch it down the ground for a nice two there. Move to 82. Going to have to get our confidence back as well. Dalport now joins me. Oh my goodness me. 
Just going down leg. I'm looking for that glide shot, but he's bowled a nice in swing up. Letting the tail face a lot of deliveries that they don't need to because I just can't get myself off strike at the end of the overs. Leg gully. This is a field that I can get behind for their sake. But when you're bowling here, that's three in a row. What are you doing? That's four in a row. What are you doing? That's four in a row. Any danger of bowling it in a good area. Christian Leopard, I think this is. The medium bowler. Into the attack. I didn't even realize he was in the team, to be honest. Very interesting times for him to be bowling. No run. And we do have an outside chance of 100 here. And I say outside. Because we've been struggling. That's a good on drive, though. Should easily come back for a couple here. That will move us to 85. This is his sort of wicket, though. Very grassy, very spongy. That's much better. I don't think, again, it's going to be a boundary. Although it's much closer. We'll just take the two. Nearly 200 minutes. Eight boundaries. Striking at 56. Delport has more confidence than me. I don't know what that says, but there you go. Two, two, two. That's got to be a couple. Can we dive this time round? We might have to, and we will, though. Good throw from the deep. Great cricket all round. And we scamper back to reach the nervous 90s yet again. Oh, that's well timed. In front of square, we could find a way to come back for two here. And it's a good throw, but it's not going to be enough to stop another two. Yeah, we'll take the one here. Move to 93. This is going to be a tough one, though, for Dalport. The challenge gets hard up because it's Tickner. And he's got three of our eight wickets. And that's the end of the session between myself and Dalport here as we walk off. Lunch on day three. Trying to set up a chase. Things have fallen away. Mostly thanks to us, actually, with some of it getting run out. Nonetheless, that's cricket. Eight for 224. With the lead at 325. So we are in command. But we want to try and see as many as we can. Nice, down the ground. Could be a couple, but it will just be one. So we are very much struggling with this defensive field. Oh, it comes out, the glide. No run, no run. Oh, how have I absolutely creamed it to him? Field comes up. We are taking a bit of a gamble here by letting that field come up. Can't play on the offside, though. Because the short cover is in place. Dot ball struggling at the end here. Yeah, that run out is actually, could be the death of us. Oh, but he's going crazy. He's gonna, I mean, I love how I've got in a single there. Yeah, straight to him. Oh, that was cheeky. I'm actually just gonna give back the strike. Halfway through, we'll move to 95. All right, eight for 227. Tickner again. Oh no. <gasps> Trying to hit too square. He bowls an in-swinger. It nearly goes onto the stumps. 95. Oh, my gosh. Slashed away. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no run again. My goodness me. I'm trying to get out. It's nearly happening. I'm gambling big time here that he's going to bowl on a good length, and we're going to punch him through extra cover, and we do. It has worked. It's going to be an easy two as well. To get us a couple. To move to 97. The gamble does pay off. Will he go again? Or is he going to go short? I'm going to predict he's going to go a bit straighter. He does. We're going to grab one. We actually could grab a second, but we're not going to. I'm going to steal the strike. 98. Into that over was actually brilliant. Extra covers open. Down the ground. We've gone for it. It's going to be two, and we're going to make our third first class 100. We've done it. It's been a crawl in the 90s. It really has. The helmet's come off. Fair enough. What a hundred it's been. It was a real struggle in that second half of the innings. I feel like the first half we were more fluent than the second. But we've managed to crawl our way there. Oh, now it's come out. The glide when we needed it most before has waited until we're in the 90s and all oh, the field has made a mirror of it. Got another boundary here. Our first since we've made 100 and our first in probably 20 runs. Oh, right fielder. Watch out, please. And now it feels like, you know what? We've done the hard yards. We've done the work. Now it's just about, let's finish this off. Yes, good. Punch through extra cover. They've left that gap open. Do we dare take a three? We do because we keep the strike. 
The rhythm has come back to us now. Oh, it was in the right area, but the wrong timing for it. Come back, come back. Come back, he's gonna have to dive, he makes it! Yes, that's how you dive. 109. Oh, he's nailed it! As he nailed it into the crowd, one bounce. Thank you very much. Good length and on the pads and we've gone up and over with great timing. Really got a good piece of it. Didn't try and overhit it. Oh, just short of 6-2. Oh, Dalport survives. We've got a real opportunity to hit a boundary if we want to go up and over. Oh, no. Instead, we've misread it and got absolutely smashed. 250 up for the aces. The lead over 350. No, no. Get down. Thankfully. Nice, nice. Take that one. Thank you. Left the field out. Oh, he's gone for it. Straight down the ground. It's going to hit the sight screen. If not, it's going to stop, but it will. It's going to be four. Brings up the 50 partnership for the ninth wicket. I think Dalport's got all four of them. Oh, that's the innings. That's the innings. Simulated forwards. Both of them got out very quickly. And unfortunately, we get stranded. Dalport, LBW for four. Frank, seven off ten. Didn't let me face the ball. 121 unbeaten. I didn't expect that to happen. But you know what? I'm not complaining. Walk off the crease. Thank you very much. Raise the bat. We've done our job. 121 unbeaten to set them 364 to win in the last innings. We've done all we can. Is it going to be enough? Well, well, well. This game is right now pretty close. Josh Clarkson, I think that is, on 101. They need 47 to win. Two wickets left. And the crowd goes wild. The aces do win. We've managed to defend it. I think we took two wickets pretty quickly after that. They gave us a scare, but we've got the job done. The player of the match was not us, but it was Frank. Three for 47 in the last dig there. And five for 37 in the first. Great stuff from Frankie. He was fantastic again. We are combining very well with our worried teammate. He's taking the wickets. I'm scoring the runs. It's all going the aces way at right now at the start of the season. First innings got run out for 19. Frank got 5 for 37, his best first class figures, before we got 121 unbeaten. Batted through the innings for 121. Some good partnerships in there as well, before in the end, Frank cleans up the final two wickets. He gets 3 for 47. Solia did well, actually, with the ball. 4 for 37 there. And we win by 37. A good win. That keeps us top of the table. We are having an outstanding season. That much is for sure. Top of the runs, 4.69 at 93.8. Frank, second top wickets with 19 at 13.4. I mean, what a gun bowler. He's doing even better than he was for Ruri. Three wins to start the season. But everyone, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this. I'm really enjoying getting into this career mode. Thank you to all the members who help support the channel. It really means a lot. And until the next episode, everyone, take care.